What's up guys, Shavon here back with a new video. Today I'll be showing you part 5 of my top best city tweaks. So guys, stay tuned. <laughs> First up on the list guys we have flame charge and it's basically a, um, a lock screen animation for when you plug in your device to charge basically like galaxy it just shows these green bubbles going up as if it's coming through the charger which is not all right kids <laughs> so that's flame charge up next we have classic folders what this does is that it brings back the ios 6 folders to ios 7 8 and 9 it also has a bonus of a modern style blurred folder with the ios 6 shape and they have a tons of different configurations you guys can go in and change like dark tint icon outline and all those good stuff so if you're tired of having full screen folders classics folders is the best option for you guys you can definitely go and try it out that's the dark tint right there if you go into settings as well and here's the beta for folder so you guys can definitely go and check this out is one of my favorite folder animation up next guys we have insta volume what this does is that it gives an instagram hood for your springboard and also youtube has optimized this feature inside their application so it's basically a youtube and an instagram volume hood for your springboard up next you guys we have spotlight be gone spotlight be gone also allows you to disable spotlight either the swipe down gesture or the page all the way to the left of the home screen or even both if you want to but i just go went ahead with the swipe to the left if you swipe to the left of my screen you won't see spotlight and i use that because i was using a tweet called mobius but i disabled mobius because of glitches up next we have a roundification it's a small tweet that rounds the corners of your nc banners control center and more you can definitely go into this tweet and change up a bunch of different settings yeah, I also have the app switches have around the corners, which is very, very, I, th I think it looks good. So you can change the sizes, all those good stuff. As you can see there, we have a bunch of different settings you guys can definitely go into and play around with to get it to your likings. So guys, that's roundification. Um, I think I'll leave all the links down in the description for the sources and all that good stuff. Alright guys, so roundification, one of my favorite city tweaks now, definitely go and check it out. Up next we have hot dog, what this does is that it lets you customize your lock screen and status bar to your liking. With hot dog you can change the slide to unlock text, the carrier text, you can also give a new look to your passcode lock by viewing and changing the passcode text. The emergency button label, the cancel button label, the delete button label, you can all hide those but I wouldn't advise you guys to hide the emergency button label just in case of a serious serious emergency so i'm going to show you how i change my power down view if you hold my power down button right here you can see a text saying if you ever <laughs> a, um, a little bit of cringe but yes you guys can definitely change all that up insta beta is the most comprehensive tweet for instagram yet with over 50 new features no ads running inside the application you can save high res images, hold down images to zoom, mute users from the home screen, hide sponsors ads, custom locations, follow status on user profiles, open links in Instagram, make any comment links clickable and you can open your Instagram, you can fake your follow account and your verified status. If you guys were wondering how I jumped into Instagram like that, it's because of this tweet called Exto basically provides a simple and intuitive way of launching apps within the folder quickly and efficiently but back to insta better now guys so as i was saying you can fake a verification you know that blue tick that all the celebrities has on their instagram you can have that as well with insta better but the thing is only you can see it so it's kind of it doesn't really make sense to me but i still keep it there to let me think that i am a, a superstar <laughs> Alright guys, up next we have Facebook Plus Plus. This is a fully featured tweet that allows you to modify almost all aspects of the Facebook app right from within the application. You have use in-app messenger. Facebook no longer forces you to use a different app. You can just use the Facebook app inside the Facebook app. If you get what I'm saying right there. As you can see, you can download a standard definition or a higher definition video. 
to download onto your device which is very very cool Facebook Plus Plus also has a lot of different settings you guys can go along and play with you have the main feed type how you want to see popular view or recently posted all those good stuff you can even lock the application up next guys we have YouTube Plus Plus YouTube Plus Plus is a tweet that makes YouTube easier and more convenient to use it allows you video to it allows you to watch videos and play music into the background you can speed up videos just in case the video is too long but you want to get the information outside the video up next guys if you guys were wondering i have five icons running across my springboard that's due to better five column home screen so it's basically having five icons running across the home screen and i also have better five icon dock down below up next we have only 3g what this does is that it, it's an add-on of flip switch and a flip control center for iPhone and you can basically lock onto 3G only so if you're in a location where sometimes you drop into 2G if you turn that on you'll be locked to 3G only just like Android with WCMA only you will definitely lock onto the 3G and never go back to 2G up next guys we have Wink the status bar is great but sometimes you don't always need it so you can just use Wink what it does is that you press the status bar and everything comes up that you need up next guys we have dating status bar it's self explanatory what this does is that it puts your date into the status bar so you can see 15th of August boom in the status bar 15th of August very good tweak minimalistic really helpful at times up next guys we have pheromone this is basically Cydia on steroids it adds a cancel button to the search bar it also has brown tint as you can see you have an animation at the top when the thing is loading you have blurred hoods you have share button on packages and a few other security functions Cydia didn't implement so this is basically Cydia on steroids or Cydia done right so yeah you can see the brown tint at the top right there you can also have a new you also have a new refresh button I should say so that's basically pheromone alright guys so you can definitely check it out I'm so using CY down alongside Fairmoon what CY down does is that it allows you to have um, paid apps paid tweaks for free so as you can see right there I couldn't close out of this option that's due to dismiss progress so what this dismiss progress does is that normally Cydia forces you to restart your springboard or reboot your device after installing a tweak but sometimes you just want to go back you have a close button at the top right hand corner now that you guys can just hit and you're back into Cydia you can install another tweak up next guys we have swipe expander what this does is that you can insert any key by just swiping up instead of going to the, the alternative things like the numbers and all those stuff you can just swipe up on the, the first primary keyboard and you get all the numbers you want all the commas you can get the brackets you can even add your email to one of the keys up next you have search settings what this does is basically it gives a search bar into the settings app so you can search for your tweaks you can now search for anything that you would want to search for it's very useful I use this a lot since lately I just installed it yesterday and I've been using it a lot so if you have a lot of tweaks definitely check that out and also if you guys like this video please give it a like down below sorry for the low audio I'm not in a place where I should be recording Yeah. Don't give it to me easy, I like a little challenge When it feels better 